Hello everybody, today I'd like to show you a flower farm. You need a lot of flowers, and this farm you can build anywhere and get a ton of flowers. So these bone meal flower farms are really common, and this one is different because you have a built-in collection system, and its main thing is it only has one switch, and you get flowers out the bottom, and you can put bone meal in right there. So it's a really nice interface. And it's really easy to build and pretty low on resources, although it does use a little bit more than some flower farm designs. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to build it really fast. So your first step is you want to find a patch of the flower you want to farm. The materials you'll need for this farm are as follows. Uh, these can be any block and these can also be solid blocks as well and you'll need 64 of any item to put in the hopper counter. And I'll also have a Lightmatic file in the description below if you're interested in just building it up with a Lightmatica. If you're wondering about the rates of this farm, this farm gets roughly 5,000 flowers an hour and around 11,000 seeds per hour, which you can turn back into bone meal and feed the farm with. So you're gonna start by doing a seven x seven in dirt or grass. And then you should have a little set of grass like this. Grab yourself regular pistons and go ahead and place them like this. Whoops. Just one block away on one side. And then on the other side, make sure that it's uh, up against the grass platform. Then get yourself a building block of your choice. I will be using polished andesite because it's easy to count with. And you're gonna go ahead and put blocks behind all these pistons. Now you're only gonna need to come to this one right here on the back. And then on this side, the back side of your farm, so decide where your interface is gonna be. For me, it's gonna be here. On the opposite side, come out an extra two blocks on this side and then run a string of blocks along the back here and connect it up like that. So you should be left with something like this. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get redstone, run it all the way along to here, get an observer, have that facing this way, and then get yourself some rails. Now the reason we use rails is they uh, update the end first and then the back here so it's a quicker way of getting a signal across in terms of update orders. Anyways, come to right here in line with the pistons and place another observer facing this way. Then take your redstone dust and wire it all the way along back here. Now get another observer and place it facing in towards this redstone line so that this happens. So if that's not happening for you, I would check over everything that's going on here first and see if you can get that sorted. Anyways, now what you're going to do is get some more blocks, place one, two, three, four here like so. Going to get a repeater and set it to two redstone ticks. Now bring redstone dust like this and then in one like so. And then put an observer facing up against this grass block here. So the way this works is this will keep refreshing the signal because this will keep getting moved back and forth to demonstrate. There you go. Now, when you flick this lever, everything should stop because it's no longer getting signals. Turn it off, it should start perfectly and you should see everything happening as it's happening here. Now, built from this block, place one, two blocks up and on the underside, place a lever and turn it on. And that will stop the farm so you can build the rest of this clock in peace. So now place a block here with redstone dust on it. So next what we're going to do is get a block right here. And you're going to get a comparator and place it facing towards these two blocks. Place two temporary blocks in another one. Place a comparator like that. You're going to get two hoppers facing into each other like so. Now what you're going to do is get a sticky piston. Place it just like that. Get a redstone block, place it like that. And then get 
another sticky piston and place it like that. Next, get a block here. Sorry, whoops. Get a block here and then another block here with redstone dust on the back. And then get yourself a stack of items. Doesn't matter any item, but that stacks to 64 and put it in the hopper here. It won't do anything because right now you have the farm off. And if you put them in here, that's fine. You can put them in either hopper and everything will work. So we're almost there. Now what we got to do is follow the line here where you want the dispenser. It's going to be in the middle of this pad here. Get your building block, place it right like that and then have blocks come out all the way to the back side where the rails are. Get an observer and face it down, replace the rail. Now place redstone dust all the way to the center here. Then you're going to get a dispenser and place it facing up. Make sure to replace the grass block. Now what you're gonna do is take a output from this guy here you're going to string hoppers all the way to it, just like that, with the two facing out, and then get yourself a chest. Like that, and this is going to be your bone meal input, so to remind yourself, I'll just put a little item frame, so you know, bam, that's your bone meal input. And now what you want to do is make your output. So your output can pretty much go anywhere you like, but all you need to do for this is you need to have hoppers underneath these gaps uh, where the piston would be. So one line would be here and the other line would be over here. Um, just like this. And then your outputs, uh, it doesn't really matter where it is, but uh, for me, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just gonna put a chest at the bottom of both sides. And uh, yeah, but if you have a bunch of these string together, you might want to put a water stream underneath instead of hoppers and connect them up to a single storage system. Anyways, and then another thing I would like to point out that's nice to do is use glass or a regular block to align the outsides of the farm uh, like this. So right in between that, above the pistons like that, along this side like that, over here like that. And then down in these gaps here, or where there would be gaps uh, like that, because we need to have a collection system for the water, because we need to make sure that there is no place for the water to escape. And that's the final step to this farm, is we need to set up a water system. So you're gonna have a block here and here, with observers going like that. Actually, you don't need those blocks, but you do need blocks here and here, 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 here and here and here next uh, if it, you did it right it's going to line up perfectly with this one do that place three repeaters at full delay on this side and then redstone dust on the remaining blocks just like that and now all you got to do is make sure that everything is teed away like this and make sure you have bone meal in your system and then all you got to do is flick this lever off. And of course, fill this dispenser with water. And if everything was done correctly, you should have water streams push items out to above the hoppers. And if we check the chest here, you'll see items already flowing in. Very nice. All right, and that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Uh, if you're wondering, this is actually the seed for Afterlife SMP, and I will be building this farm up on that server as well. So once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.